Hello, my name is Dr. John Moon, and this is Vascular Access Principles with Benchmark IR, an educational resource for minimally invasive and image-guided procedures. And this will be the first of a series of lectures we're excited to introduce to you on vascular access types. We'll discuss what access is, common access sites, a foundational principle for access known as the Seldinger technique, as well as common risks and complications associated with vascular access. So vascular access is defined as entry into the vascular system via a catheter. And using this catheter, blood can be removed for laboratory-based testing or therapeutics such as transfusions, fluids, medications, or chemotherapy. In critically ill patients that require hemodynamic support, fluids may be administered with vasopressive or inotropic medications. So where do we get venous access? It's important to know peripheral and central venous anatomy, which can be reviewed separately, but we highlight the following segments that include the internal jugular vein and the subclavian vein. Additionally, there are peripheral veins that can be used to gain access, and when the tips of these catheters terminate in the superior vena cava, they are referred to as peripherally inserted central venous catheters, or PICs. These peripheral veins include, as shown, the cephalic vein, the brachial vein, and basilic vein. Again, in the upper extremity, PICs are catheters that are inserted into one of these peripheral veins and whose tip terminates in the superior vena cava. And in the lower extremity, venous access is most commonly obtained in the femoral vein. There are a number of factors that influence access site. For one, vascular history. Has a patient undergone surgery that has altered normal anatomy, or do they have vascular disease that precludes access to certain sites? Two, what is the intended use of the central venous access? What catheter type is required? And three, how long will the access be required? These topics will be discussed in greater length in the follow-up video by Dr. Cooper. Now the Seldinger technique puts to use the anatomy that we've just learned and the equipment that we have to gain vascular access. So with your vascular access needle, as shown here, you advance at a 45 degree angle to the surface of the skin, bevel down, and piercing through the soft tissues and into the vessel wall. Once return of blood is seen, the needle is advanced a few more millimeters, and then a wire is advanced through the access needle and into the lumen of the vessel. At this point, since the wire is holding the place of the needle, the needle can be removed. And over this wire, a hemostatic sheath can provide stable access into the vasculature. The wire can then be removed to introduce additional catheters through the sheath. As a brief introduction to complications, which will be discussed in a separate video, venous access can come with complications of pneumothorax, hemothorax, air embolism, vessel injury, or complications arising from catheter malposition. And with that, Thanks for watching Central Venus Principles by Benchmark IR.